Hello, hello, here is BB Walker. I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are still with Yamaha PSRS975 and this video is for the request one of you and we will be exploring the smartphone or tablets and the application called Yamaha Chord Tracker app. I will show you how to use it, how to send data to your instrument, which is probably Yamaha PSR keyboard or PSR SX keyboard. However, I will show you how to do this without wireless communication. We will be doing it using USB cable and this little adapter. So if you are interested, just give me a comment and we will start in a second. Alright, so as I mentioned, this video is especially for Mr. Samuel Riemann Schneider, if I spell it correctly, who will ask, can you make a movie about Yamaha PSR975 about Chord Tracker application? And of course, I will do such video, why not? I have explored those applications and it's very, very interesting. Um, Previously, I mean, uh, till this time, I have been using the RiffStation app, and actually, this kind of applications uh, you can download from internet to your smartphone or any Android device you have, and I have downloaded it. It's called the. Uh, you can find it on. Uh, uh, you can find it on Google Play, of course. And basically, the the. The, re the reason, the, I mean, the, the main purpose of such application is to uh, give you an automatic analyze of the audio song, so MP3 song that you can find on, you know, internet, download from to your device, uh, or maybe you have made some song a long time ago and you forget the chord progression which is inside. So basically the main goal of such applications is to take an audio file, I mean not MIDI, but pure audio MP3 WAV file that you can have on your iPod and any device that you know you use to everyday listening to music, and then to analyze which chord are inside there, what is the BPM, and, and even the greatest thing about this app is that it could prepare a song MIDI file and send it to your device, Yamaha device, and then use it for practicing. So today I have uploaded to this uh, phone, uh, hello, it's me, I have uploaded my song, my old song, um, Do You Work For A Living? I have recorded the song using the drums from the previous Yamaha PSR S670, which you can find on my channel also. Um, but uh, this song is performed on guitar, and actually it goes like this. This is pure MP3 file. As you can see, it discovered the chords and even the rhythm sections, how they are built. This is intro, played on guitar, my Ibanez, which you have seen on the... Okay, so this is actually song. Any song with vocals, with, you know, uh, main rhythmic part, with the, the melody, soloing, and so on, and so on. And as you can see, it discovered the, the chord progression. This is the same thing featured like in Riff Station. But this application is really cool, and the interesting things happens when you connect this phone to the Yamaha. And to do this, you may buy, because um, Yamaha PSR S975 doesn't have a Bluetooth MIDI connection. You may find on my channel the video where I'm connecting the Kawai KDP digital piano using Bluetooth to application like Synthesia and even like this one probably, but it's not probably compatible with Yamaha. However, I have found this little bit uh, adapter. It's a uh, USB-C uh, uh, male uh, socket to USB-A female 
adapter. So it basically allows you to connect to your phone. If your phone has a USB-C or micro USB, you will probably also find the proper adapter. So we are connecting it, it looked like this. And then our standard cable uh, socket A, type A male, and on the other side of the side of the keyboard, it's socket B. Uh, I will put a link in the description. However, it's very simple. You just connect it using this USB port like this. I hope I won't broke my phone. Okay. And the application asks, would you like to connect it as a USB? Yes, I would like to connect it and then see what happened. The magic. Uh, uh, you want play settings? No. I need to go back. Uh, maybe go back again. No. All right. This is the main menu of the application and it says no connection. Why no connection? Yes, if you re refresh, you will see the PSRS975. So it discovered the device and now you are connected to the device. And you may be asking yourself why you are connecting the app like this to the device. And the reason, the, I mean the solution and the answer for this is that you, if you have our song, uh, which is this... Uh, Two cups of corn, do you work for a living, blah, blah, blah. You have a menu in here and you have the option called send to instrument. And he is asking you about the chord sequence will be sent to the instrument as song file. Please enter a name for this file. Okay, so it actually gives the name of my song, which is do you work for a living, Radio Cat. Uh, by uh, two cubs of corn and then he would like you to find the style which is inside this instrument and to check it I mean to find it and the, the greatest thing that it recommends you a uh, Britpop for example if I press this it automatically start the style in here standard rock Work for living, yeah. I think the standard rock may be interesting. Okay, sorry for this cable, but I need to do something about it. Maybe this, maybe here. All right, so we are here uh, in the moment when we selecting the style and it recommends me standard rock I like it. I like it. So let's choose this standard rock and we press the button send. Send. Waiting. And done. Okay. So now I will put the phone away. And so actually the main purpose about this application is to train your favorite songs, your favorite performers and so on and so on. And instead of making the very disturbing, I mean, boring sometimes adaptation, writing songs, then playing and so on, you got this instantly from scratch. And where to find this song? All right. So this song has been uploaded into user space of this Yamaha. And to find it, you press, uh, to look too much some. Okay. You press the song select here. And as you can see in the user space, there is a catalog, I will go up, called Chord Tracker. It automatically created the Chord Tracker um, folder. So you are entering it and here is our song. <laughs> Believe me or not, the chord progression of this song and the selected styles that I have selected a few seconds ago is now ready to run. So. We do nothing more than just select it by enter and play. Let's see the score and the chords. This is intro. Yeah. Work for living. Or do you live?
live for work? Do you work for living? So this is basically the chord progression and you can solo using your right hand whatever you have. Do you work for living? And now I'm playing the solo. I'm really excited about this app, so thanks you, Samuel, uh, for sending me this topic, because this app has a, a few great advantages that I have never found before. Uh, the first is that it actually really good discover the chords, and the second one, it shows you the chords, it shows you the chords for the piano, it shows the chords for the uh, guitar, but this feature, which is making a song with selected styles, BPM, and even adding a transition is absolutely fantastic. Um, if I, I, I was playing it uh, only a few, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, and I have found this is really interesting because it even discovered the moments where the uh, fill apps fill down and changes the variation. Uh, you may be seeing or not, you may notice this or not, it changed actually in moments, in some moments it changes the variation. And I I didn't do this, I mean it was completely automatically discovered from the source WAV file, MP3 file. So you have a song in MP3 format, you want to learn how to play it, you want to learn what is the chord progression inside the song. And you want you, you you probably want to find a style. It automatically recommends you the style that you have inside your uh, device, Yamaha PSRS nine seventy five. But I have checked; it also works with uh, Yamaha PSRS nine uh, six seventy. So this low lowest price entering uh, PSRS line and I'm sure it will also work for this new line which is PSRS X uh, 600, 700 and 900. Okay, so if you have any questions about this app, you, you may know to check more stuff or you have any you know misunderstandings about how to use it. Uh, remember that if your device have a Bluetooth MIDI connection, you could use it a Bluetooth built in and you, if you don't have a Bluetooth, you need an adapter uh, adapter which converts the USB A socket to USB C because <laughs> otherwise you won't be able to connect it to your uh, phone or tablet or or, or whatever you have uh, in your home. So thanks for watching. It was Bibi Walker and remember please like, please subscribe, and if you have any question, topic, maybe you want me to explore some apps, some hardware. If it's not very expensive, I'll be trying to get it and do a video especially for you. So see you later and have a nice day.